Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on determining whether two lines are perpendicular given their equations. Now in the previous video we saw how to find the grain of one line given the grain of a perpendicular line. So for example if we had a line like this where the gradient is 2 and we had a line perpendicular to it so at right angles then the way we could find the gradient of the other line is to do the negative reciprocal. So we negate it, so the 2 becomes minus 2, and then we do 1 over the reciprocal, so minus half. So that's the negative reciprocal. So if it was negative, it becomes positive. If it was positive, it becomes negative. And reciprocal means you do 1 over it. So just some examples. If the gradient of one line was, say, 3, then the gradient of the perpendicular line, I'm just going to use that symbol to mean perpendicular, you do negative that and you do 1 over it and it becomes that. And if, say, the gradient was minus a quarter, then the minus becomes positive, so you negate it and then you do 1 over quarter, which would become 4. And also remember that if they were perpendicular, then the two gradients multiply together. So the gradient of the first line times the gradient of the second line would be equal to minus 1 if they were perpendicular. Now it's slightly hard in this problem because the equations of our lines are not in the form y equals mx plus c. But we explored that in another video previously, how to find the gradient of a line that's not in the form y equals mx plus c. So we just need to rearrange each equation to make y the subject. We want to get y on its own so we can then read off the gradient. So if you want to get y on its own, what's well being multiplied by 4, then you're adding 3x. So we're going to subtract 3x from each side. That's going to give us 4y. And then if we subtract 3x, we get 10 minus 3x. And then we want to get rid of that form from the y. y is being multiplied by 4, so we divide both sides by 4. So that just becomes y. And then rather than putting the whole thing over 4, we should divide each individual term by 4, otherwise it won't be clear what the gradient is. So that will be 10 over 4. And then minus 3 divided by 4 is minus 3 quarters. And that will have the x on the front. So we've got y equals 10 quarters minus 3 quarters x. Now remember, the gradient is the number in front of the x, the coefficient of x, provided that y is the subject. So the gradient here is minus a quarter. And we can do the same thing with the other line. So if we've got 3y minus 4x is 2 for the second line. Well, if we add 4x to both sides, we get 2 plus 4x, then divide both sides by 3 to get rid of that 3, and divide each individual term by 3. Don't put the whole thing over 3. 2 becomes 2 thirds, and 4x becomes 4 thirds x. You just divided the 4 by 3. So we can see here that the gradient is the number in front of x, which is the 4 thirds. And then to see whether these two lines are perpendicular, we can use this fact here. Do the two gradients multiply to give minus 1? So if we try that, and I'm running out of space, we do minus 3 quarters multiplied by 4 over 3. Now, negative times positive is negative. And if we do 3 quarters times 4 over 3, we get 3 times 4 at the top, which is 12, 4 times 3 at the bottom, which is 12, 12 over 12 is just 1. So we do indeed get minus 1, and therefore the lines are perpendicular. If it wasn't minus 1, then they're not perpendicular.